Hours of Since School Memories, Four Marzaka's Class Spring Break 2013. My favorite memories of Jefferson School are when I play with my friends at gym. We play basketball and other fun activities. We have a lot of fun. It all happened at gym class every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. We would always follow around. I will keep and cherish these wonderful and great fun memories to my grave. I was walking into the music room and I remember all of my memories from there. I remember when it was talent day and I was showing my dance to my class. After I was done, everybody was clapping loudly. I also had so much fun there. My friends and I always did something exciting. Our music teacher, Mrs. Ng, gave us pencils if we won bingo. But my favorite memory was Mrs. Ng's puppet, Apeggio. There were three of them. Whenever we had a play, she would throw up a Petio and someone would catch him. Since I'm going to Lincoln Roosevelt, I won't see Mrs. Ng or a Petio. I can't wait until next year. Those are my favorite memories of Jefferson Elementary School. The best memory of Jefferson School was the music room. The best part of it was we got to hit the gong. We also got to see funny videos and cartoons. We got to sing the beat of the songs. We got to see the cat in the hat videos and the videos the cat in the hat in the hat. The cat had to bring out one th and sing to to help him find his machine. And since that cat went out, he came back with his machine. So he, so he sucked all the hats up. Then he was done. So the boy, so the boy and girl's mom came, and the cat vanished. But the mom already saw him. We got to see Santa got stuck on my chimney. It was the best video we ever saw. We had to sing along too. It was fun. We also got to do chorus in the music room. But the fun part was we get to dance to the chicken dance. That's when I had fun in the music room. The best memories of Jefferson Elementary School is the music room. There are lots of others, but the music room has great memories of the school. I have the best and the greatest memories of the music room. I love the videos that we watch every day inside the music room. I love the songs that we sing in Mrs. Zing's room. The best part of the music room is singing along to the music as the videos play. The best videos that we watched was the cat in the hat. It was sort of sad and happy. The bad part of the cat in the hat was that we didn't get to sing along to it. The best memories of the cat in the hat are when the children try to find the, a huge machine that the cat lost and he, it was in the, but he left it inside the driveway. And then the children made a huge mess trying to find it in the house. So did the cat. Do you want to know what the cat made trying to find it in the house? He wrote on the walls pictures, lamps, and refrigerator. After he brought out two little boys or girls, we didn't know what the na what it, it was. But the bad thing about that was that they smashed the things in the house. Then they the cat in the hat came in with the machine and cleaned the house up within the snap. The mom came in with the cat le when the cat just left at the door and the mom exclaimed that there was a cat going down with a certain machine that the cat was looking for. And the kids didn't know that was the machine that he was looking for. They thought it was some small tiny thing. So they didn't tell the mom that that was the machine that the cat was looking for and making a huge mess inside the house and an atrocious mess inside the house. 
I was so sad when music was over because I enjoy being in the music room with the classmates. And I love to go to the music room every single day. I wish music w would be every day. Recess, I love the monkey bars. They are fun because I can swing on them. We didn't have swings, so that was the closest thing to swings. I also love to go across the monkey bars, and ever since, I have loved recess. Will you try the monkey bars? Swish is next and help me make a basket. He's one of my favorite members because he's been one of my best friends in second grade. The other friend I made was Matt Alvin, and those are the close friends I made in Jefferson School. We play football together outside of recess and with other people. They come to my house a lot and we play baseball and cross. Matt and I play on the same baseball team called Roxbury Rage. He's a travel team. Luke plays across for the Roxbury Junior Girls and he is amazing at it. Matt plays second base and pitcher and I play first and pitcher. My favorite sport is baseball and so is Matt's. Luke's favorite sport is lacrosse. We all go to the same camp in the summer and we have the most fun there because we play wolf ball and other fun things we can see each other. We all play well together because we're all friends. If one of us feels down, we always have each other's backs. Happiness fills the hallway. 100 days have passed at Jefferson Elementary School, and they are going to celebrate, especially the kindergartners, with 100 day hearts. They hang in the hallway with spreading happiness everywhere you go. They can be decorated in so many ways, with stars, with stickers, with pictures of you, as long as there's 100. You can never be sad in Jefferson School hallways, with how much kindergarten helps make beautiful things that always spread happiness. Even in kindergarten, nine year children have such great, great ideas to make our school a happy place. With such a Amazing art. These should be little Picasso's. Kindergarten was such fun. It is sad that I have to leave Jefferson School and the beautiful artwork that these young children create and have made so many memories for me to treasure for life. For me, music is an inspiration. Now that I'm in my fourth and last year at Jefferson Elementary School, I look back at all the years in the past and think of the memories I share with friends and most importantly, the wonderful and extraordinary music teacher, Mrs. Ng. Right now, I think that my fondest and best memory in the music room is when it was time for the talent show in music. I decided to sing a song I wrote. It wasn't the best song ever, but I couldn't have done it or had the courage to do it if I hadn't had such a strong connection with Mrs. Ng. She had led me on a journey full of melody and song, so as I leave Jefferson School, I want to send a big thank you to the best music teacher ever, Mrs. Ng. Ever read a book all over Jefferson School Library? I have because every time I went somewhere, the people next to me were really noisy. I tried to read at the carpet on a pillow and on a beanbag. Finally, I sat at a table in the corner, and everyone else was either at the beanbag, the pillows, or th even the rug. But I was at the best spot, the quietest corner in Jefferson School Library. Have you ever played on the Jefferson Elementary School's playground? Well, I have. I love the playground because it's so much fun. I get to see all my friends all the time at recess. I go on it almost every day, well, when it's not a cloudy or rainy day. I always have a fabulous time on the playground, but most of the time people get injured. But that's the best part, because it shows that you're having fun. I bet if you do go on the Jefferson Elementary School's playground, you will have the best time of your life, and it will fill you with a bucket full of happiness. I have some great memories from the Jefferson Elementary School gym. There are so many memories, because in gym I always laugh with my friends. No matter what game we are playing, and if I win or lose, I always have fun. When we started basketball, I wasn't that good. My friends would always help me out, and I would become better and better. Also, when we play games like Medic or Steal the Bacon, we always have fun. When we started doing square dancing, we all tried our best to get footsies. In gym class, I like to play competitive games like Chicken Dribble, where you try to knock your opponents out of the game, or Circle Dribble, where you run around in a circle and try to dribble faster than the, your opponent. I also learn games that my friends and I can play at recess, like Jump Rope or Chinese Jump Rope. There are so many memories from this gym that I will miss next year.
Silence was spread across the room, though running or screaming was allowed. It was the library, so calming and relaxing, just reading a, a book as I lie in a beanbag. This was mostly the best memory I had in Jefferson Elementary School. Why it was? Because there was no screaming kids. Just all nice, peaceful silence with no one to bother me from reading a calming book. But the thing I love the most is picking out a book that I, lo that I like and can read. No one telling me to do this or to do that. Just me that's in charge of what I read. This was my amazing memory at Jefferson Elementary School. Flip Flip, I love library because it teaches me knowledge and I have fun there. I like to read magazines like Sports Illustrated. I have fun there when I read a really good book that is coming to the climax. For example, in the book Goosebumps by Earl Stein, the magician in this story was a wooden magician that was being controlled by a rabbit with special powers. In this other book about a basketball player, Yao Ming, a huge basketball player that was seven feet tall and was the tallest basketball player playing in the NBA, but he retired last year. And before we allowed to get books, we have to do projects like when we made a book trail from Box Kids and we had to answer questions from the text and learning about call the cop medals. I let my knowledge go free to all the books I love to read. Squeak, 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 as kids in the gym did a layup. The gym is one of my favorite memories because we do one of my favorite things, basketball. I love basketball because it keeps me going. I remember when I was in kindergarten and I couldn't even shoot a ball. But when I got older and we did units like basketball in the gym, I can shoot three-pointers now. It's so exciting when you make a three-pointer or just a basket. Some people can't shoot a basketball, but if they keep practicing, they'll definitely be able to make a basket. And you know the saying, practice makes perfect. Didn't take my master memory of the year, the music, but that's where all the magic is. I think this was, that's where I have learned every type of music. And that's where I have learned how to do our awesome plays. This is where I started loving music and started getting great to play an instrument. Now I play the electric guitar. I hope other kids that come to Jefferson Elementary School love and enjoy the music room. That they make music and be a part of their lives. The music room is my memory of the year. This is truly my most best memory. Because I had a great time in there, I had some fun, laughs and smiles. Math, reading, science, writing, spelling, social studies, and fun. We've done it all in room 15. In other words, my classroom. My favorite thing to do with the class was math. We also had an activity called the Star Student. It involved pictures of you, information about you, and a poster to put it all on. These memories will be cherished forever of Jefferson Elementary School. I have so many good memories of the Koala Cafe. The Koala Cafe is the best and tastiest place in Jefferson School. The Koala Cafe is my favorite memory of Jefferson School because it is the only place where everybody could just talk with their friends without having a teacher yell at them. And at recess, every, everyone is running around so you can't catch up to them. In the Koala Cafe, people can talk to friends, play games, think about what they're going to do at recess, and more. Also, ever since the fourth graders got to sit wherever they want in the Koala Cafe, there has been a lot less yelling than in the previous years. In the Koala Cafe, almost everyone is happy, and that is why I picked it as my favorite memory of Jefferson School. Silence was in the room. Nobody was talking when they came in, like a trance came over them right when they walked in. Only very little noises coming from the hallway. It looked like the nurse's office was frozen in time itself. Every time a person came in, they were either holding their knee or their hands. What happened was the true question, but whatever it was, she could fix it. No one left disjointed or disappointed. However, the people who came out were always happy. This is my fondest memory of Jefferson School.